Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to a another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your insane host. Uh, this video is just kind of a quick random video that uh, it just kind of is happening. I woke up from my little nap and I'm laying in bed and I check my phone and I see I got a notification from uh, YouTube. A guy commented and uh, I was gonna just kind of do a quick reply and I thought you know what after I read the paragraph a couple times it's a little bit deeper of a conversation than a quick reply so I wanted to read it out here and uh, kind of touch base on on what's being said in here and my thoughts and opinions on things uh, from from my point of view uh, the, the guy's name is Clark G Clark G and uh, appreciate you commenting it says wow you keep raising the bar pun intended how do you keep so fresh as a natural older lifter I got up to 295 pounds on bench about a week ago but my joints were extremely sore for several days afterwards I can't go that heavy again usually for at least a couple of weeks afterwards do you recommend any supplements I've tried fish oil before but the last time I took it I broke out in a rash on my shoulders which quickly went away after I quit taking the product I can't seem to keep up the intensity without a lot of pain lol but love the motivation watching your channel and your weight smashing I appreciate the comment and I'm the, and the view time and all that good stuff I appreciate that Clark um, and, and that seems like a quick reply kind of a thing, but at the same time, this goes a lot deeper. That's what she said. And so I had to come in here and touch base on it a little bit. So we're going to kind of break it down into a couple of parts. It says, why you keep raising the bar, pun intended. How do you keep so fresh? I have no idea. Uh, it's a mental thing. And I know, you, and I know you're... Uh, I think you said you're old. I don't know what how old, you says the natural older lifter. So you're an older lifter. I don't I don't know how old you are, but I'm 50. I, as far as keeping so fresh, I have no idea. I'm in pain every day. I don't sleep well every night. I'm mentally busy. My brain is constantly going on everything from marriage to kids to economy to health issues with everybody and different things in my life and uh, I have no idea how I stay so fresh uh, I might come off as staying fresh sometimes when really deep inside I'm not so fresh uh, a, a lot of it though is mental um, you just have to flip that switch in your brain and go it's just the way that, that's about a simple a simpler way as I can put it as a natural older lifter, I got up to 95 about about a week ago. My joints were extremely sore. Now uh, I can t I can feel your pain on that. No pun intended, or pun intended. If you go back a day or two ago, I made a video about all my all my uh, aches and pains that I have, and uh, I, I don't know if you commented or anything on that. I don't remember, but my you know I don't remember all that stuff. But I have everything from chronic bad back to tennis or golfer's elbow to either arthritis or carpal tunnel to, you know, neck problems up in the clavicle or whatever problems to muscle tissue and soft tissue problems and scar tissue all in my shoulders and my back problem. And I even have hip or pelvic problems that I've I don't really talk about those and, and most of my problems are from the waist up so it's every day it's all the time it's 24 hours a day and that's one reason I don't sleep well so as far as aches and pains go again it's almost like flipping a switch you have to just say screw it and keep going uh, it, which is not always easy to do believe me uh, I, of course, I didn't work out for years. I don't know how long you've been following my channel or anything, but uh, I didn't work out for years. And I, I and then in 2015, I got a gym membership, and I thought, oh wow, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I got to do something. I got to work out. 
I, I'm not doing anything except driving a bus and coming home. So I got a, a gym membership. And I couldn't even work out because my shoulders were so screwed up. And I got in there and I couldn't do flies and I couldn't do bench press. And I can't reach back and hold the bar to squat. I can't do this. I can't do that. And so it was kind of a lackluster go that I had. I had like a one-year contract. And so I did, I did the best I could through that little period of time. And then by the time uh, February 2016 came along, I, I got out of my contract and I bought a bicycle. And so I cycled for five and a half years. So, you know, I, I, I didn't work out, you know, that whole stretch of period of time. And I just started working out again in early 2020. My shoulder, just one day I woke up and my shoulder was not as horrible. And I was like, I can move my arm. So, instantly at that point in time, boom, I'm working out. Why did it go to that? Because I love working out. I have a passion uh, for working out. And that might be... How do you keep so fresh? It's because I have a natural passion to push myself. I've always been competitive. Uh, and so working out is how I compete as an adult. You know, as a kid, we're doing other things. And when you get into an adult, your, your adulthood, well, what do you do? You're not running around the playground. You're not playing freeze tag. You're not seeing who can jump the BMX and kill themselves. You know, normally you're not. You might. There's still some guys out there doing that, but you got to figure something else out. And I was always into the bodybuilding look and the, and all that stuff, and He-Man and Arnold and Sylvester Stallone and, and Van Damme and all that muscle stuff. I've always loved the muscle, uh, the human body, the form, and I got into art and drawing and all that kind of stuff. And that's what I've always drawn. So I've always had a passion for the human body. I love the human body. So you got to have a passion. You got to have that that switch flipped in your head, and you got to just say screw it and do it. And also, part of being fresh, not just mental, but you got to get your health, your, your eating on track. It helps a lot. It also helps more so with just being healthy in general and being strict and making yourself do things that you might not want to do, but you're doing it. So, it, it's all a game. It's all mental. So, that kind of goes along with the joints and that. It's A lot of it's mental. I hurt every day. And there's some days I don't know how I do what I do. I don't know how I'm pressing the weight. You know? I can bend over to pick up my water and throw my back out. I can go in there and deadlift 400 pounds and not do a thing. Uh, deadlifts are not bad. It's the squats that are bad. The squats are, are what really hurts me. Uh, that That's when I really realize that I have my pain. Because number one, I still can't hold the bar very well. And number two, uh, since I can't get the bar and I don't have the movement, the bar is up here on my neck. So, therefore, that leads to more neck pains. So, doing that and then doing the squat puts more pressure on my back. So, the squat... If there's one movement that I do, it's the squat that I would cut out. If if I wasn't so stubborn, I'd cut out the squat. Uh, but that that's the one that taxes my body the most, as far as my aches and pains go. Very very much so. Um, yeah, uh, you know, whenever I went through that, fa whenever I was at the gym that time for that year, kind of half doing anything. I think, man, if I'd had the mentality even then that I have now that I finally got, would things have been different then? I don't know. I have no idea. In reality, I wish years ago in the 90s when I first started working out that I wouldn't have done it off and on, off and on, off and on, up in the 2000s and off and on, off and on. I wish I would have just been headstrong then and been mentally where I'm at now. Then, there's no telling where I'd be right now. I don't mean I'd be competing because I'm not going to do drugs so uh, and I know there's natural competitions but they're, they're not natural <laughs> uh, you unless you see them that actually look natural uh, you can definitely tell the difference um, anyway as far as the aches and pains you just gotta do the best you can and go through it I mean you've seen me working out with my back out you've seen me walking with it out and spinning with it out and 
doing everything with it out and and, and uh, you know I got a lot on my plate you know marriage is not always perfect we've been married almost 30 years so I've always got something in my brain there I got issues with my oldest kid I got you know, I'm always thinking about my mom and my grandma and my niece that passed. I'm always thinking about the economy anymore and how we're getting beat down around every corner. You know, my wife's parents are not doing good. They live next door. Uh, so I, I'm constantly, you know, and my wife, not, and not only with our relationship, is, you know, sometimes relationships are not great, but also my wife has epilepsy for the last like four years or something got it out of nowhere epilepsy so I worry about her every day and again my oldest son he has diabetes the bad kind like he's, he'll probably be dead within five years because he don't take care of himself so I think about that every day so there's a lot on my table that I'm thinking about and thinking about and, but at the end of the day when it's time to go the switch is flipped and I'm going I mean, I've literally been in the middle of drama, stuff going on, and blah, 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 yada, 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 and just like, whatever, yep, uh-huh, getting stuff done, all right, it, it's just different now than it than it used to be, I'm just different now than I was, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be sidetracked, and I have that mentality, and uh, again, I, I think that's that's my competitive mentality, my competitive nature, uh, not necessarily always against other people, but for myself. I'm competitive against myself. And I've said that before in my videos that, you know, I'm not here competing with this person or that person and trying to do this and that. I'm doing what I do. Uh, I'm, co I'm competing against myself. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at my past, at my past lifts. I have old journals with, you know, stuff wrote down and what I did. I have old videos that I have uploaded on YouTube. I don't know if you've went back and managed to find those and I'm looking at what I did then and I'm comparing to what I'm doing now and I'm like I'm stronger now than I was there with that I'm not quite there on this one but I'm I'm way ahead here and I'm way ahead over here and and as far as just being consistent and persistent I'm miles ahead it's a different world totally different and you gotta again the switch has got to be flipped it's just something that happens and I know it's just a paragraph that you wrote, Clark, but it kind of struck me uh, in a way that I needed to touch base on it in more of a complex, more of a fleshed out manner. And I know it's a long video, but sometimes you just got to do it that way. Uh, as far as recommending supplements, I have no idea. And you said you took fish oil, and I know that a lot of times people say take fish oil for your joint, uh, for your joint pain. So that I'm not sure. I don't take anything for mine. Uh, I I use uh, IsoPure Whey uh, Protein Isolate, which is the best protein on the market. Totally clean. Uh, get the unflavored kind. IsoPure. I S O Pure. IsoPure. I even got some videos in there on that. You can uh, do a search for that. Protein IsoPure, whatever. Uh, I take. I use powdered peanut butter anymore. There's like two ingredients in it and some protein and some other nutrients and stuff. And I use, and I eat uh, uh, oats. I eat oats. I mean, I, I make I make my oat meal super protein mix and that's really all I do. So I don't take any supplements. I don't, you know, nothing. I don't do anything. So uh, I don't even... You know, I take my medicine that I take every day for high blood pressure, cholesterol, and gout, and I'll probably get off that for long. It's just I haven't went to the doctor yet to uh, get a, a checkup and kind of make sure to see what they think. Uh, but I think I can get off all my medication, to be honest. So, I don't know. As far as supplements go, I'm not a big supplement guy. Uh, just try to get some healthy fats and your oil I guess your fish oil or you said you can't really take that no more but so I don't know maybe uh, just do a Google search an in-depth Google search or talk to a real like nutritionist you know doctor person or <laughs> you know a lot of your normal everyday doctors and nurses and stuff don't know as much about that kind of stuff so 
I find someone who's actually uh, knowledgeable in that kind of stuff. I can't keep up the intensity without a lot of pain. I love your motivation. Watch your channel. Again, intensity, it, it, it's personality a lot of times. In my opinion, it's how wound up you are as a person and how driven and wound up and crazy you are. And I'm always kind of wound up in the head and ready to go. A lot of times when I'm laying down, I'm just laying there and I'm I'm like, I might as well go. I might as well do this. I might as well get up. I'm up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I might as well get up and get on the bike and spin. I might as well. I might as well do it. Literally, I'm just sitting there saying that. And I'm like, okay, I'm up. I'm going to go. So I get on the bike and I'll spin. I might be spinning at 2 o'clock in the morning. And if my gym wasn't in here where I could be loud, if I had a building, I'd probably be working out at 2 o'clock in the morning. I've went and done my walks at early in the morning like that because I'm just wound up and when it's time to go when I you know when my brain goes bloop, it's time to go it's time to go so it's like uh, of course right now I'm on summer break I'm a school bus driver so I'm you know not working right now but when I get home in the afternoon at 315 when I get on off the bus it's go time don't talk to me leave me alone I don't care what's going on if the world's blowing up I don't care I'm coming in I'm making my pre-workout getting that going I'm starting my supper, I'm getting that going, so I'm eating my pre-workout, and then by about 4 o'clock, I'm going in there, I'm going in the gym, and I'm working out. Leave me alone, I'm working out, I'm working out, working out, I'm on schedule, I'm doing my thing, and while I'm working out, my supper's cooking, and in between sets or something, in between different exercise movements or something, I might go check on it, and flip something, or do this or that, or get something else going, and... It's just, you got to be mental. You got to be go, go, go. It's just, what do you expect of yourself? I expect a lot of myself because I know where I come from. And I don't know if I touched on this already before. But, oh, but I am driven like a professional athlete. That's just how I am. I'm wired that way. And if I had followed that path, I would have been the next big athlete. I would have been the next big something I know because I know how I am I'm just too competitive and that's just how I am when I go in the gym I'm competitive with myself like today I already did half of my chest workout early today because I got so wound up pardon me I got so wound up that I had to go get it done because I couldn't sit around and wait no more and that's the video that I uploaded my chest day uh, my chest workout so I still got more to do actually but I'm gonna wait until my normal time to go finish up the rest of my workout you know break it up into a couple of different sections and hey that'll kinda help you out a little bit kinda pump you up here and then give you a good rest period and pump you up here make sure you get your nutrition here and I also took a little nap so so uh, you know kind of finishing up here I know I'm, I'm rambling on but this you know it, it kind of made me think a little bit of I don't know how I am how I am I'm just driven and I think you you have people that are that way and you have people that are not that way and you have some people that want to be that way and that maybe can make themselves that way uh, I just know I've been that way since I was a kid you know I've always been competitive and I expect stuff on myself and if I, if I lifted 300 pounds last week I'm going to lift 300 pounds again and eventually I'm going to lift 300 pounds 10 times like I used to that's that's my best lift that I've done with 300 pounds is 10 reps years ago like 2010 I'm going to do it again before long I'm going to have 10 reps of 300 pounds you seen me do 225 for 17 last week and then 18 this week and that's that's at the end of this chest workout that I did the most I've done with 225 is 20 2010 ish or so I'm gonna do it again I could go in there and do it right now probably because I'm so pumped up I could probably lay down right now and go do 225 20 times my heaviest bench I ever did was about 375 or 380 I lose track it might have been about 375 it's on video I got a video of it you can go find it somewhere uh, will I ever will I reach that 
that's really all I'm looking to, to reach. Um, there's two lifts that I'm looking to reach. My, my best sitting shoulder press, barbell shoulder press, is 240 or 245 pounds. My biggest bench I ever did was the 370 or 75. I think it was 75 or 80 for one rep. I'm gonna, those are the two that I'm chasing. Other than that, I've probably surpassed every lift I've ever done. Definitely with deadlifts, I've surpassed what I ever did with that. I finally hit 425 on my last deadlift. So, boy, this is going to be a long video. Uh, anyway, but I wanted to touch base on your paragraph, and I appreciate it, and it made me think, and I wanted to try to help you. All I can say is sometimes you just got to ignore the pain, uh, but you got to also listen to your body, know your limits. Don't be scared to push past your limits. Uh, but you have to also flip that switch in your head to get to the point to where I'm at right now and to where you know other people are. Uh, it's, it's just something that has to happen. So I wish you all the luck. And uh, please keep commenting. And uh, it, you telling me that I'm, I'm motivating you is one reason that I do this. It's a reason that I'm uploading videos and that I'm trying to touch base with people and build a community. And I want us to motivate each other. And you don't know it, but you motivated me to think. You know, I had to get up and think about this and put this video out. So you're motivating me in a different way. And I appreciate it. So uh, thanks to you and thanks to everyone else that watches the channel and, and uh, maybe comments and shares and all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate it. So I'm going to close this video out now. And uh, my watch ain't working again. Stupid watch. It's almost time for me to go take my pre-workout. See, I'm trying to stay on schedule like I'm still working. So at 3.15, I'm going to go start making my pre-workout and get my supper going. And uh, then I'm going to finish up my chest workout about 4 o'clock. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to me, the body beat down. All right? Inspire someone every day, including yourself. Why? Because you're the most important person in the world. You have to inspire yourself before you can inspire anyone else. You have to be strong in your head and your mind and take care of yourself before you can do that for anyone else. All right? It's a journey. It's not easy. But when that little switch goes flickety flick, you've been there. You've done it. You got it. All right? Get up. Get out. Get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!